Welcome to this course on English medical terminology. This video is a lesson on the basics that we'll be using throughout the course as we get into topics like cardiology, neurology, endocrinology. For a little more information about this course, how I teach it, how to take it, whom it's intended for, a little bit of background about the course, check out this video, which is also linked in the description below. And when you're ready, grab a pencil or a stylus or a keyboard, whatever you use to take notes, and we'll get started. English medical terminology, basic roots, beginning with bio, meaning life. The obvious example for us is biology, the study of life. And I'm sure you can think of numerous examples of this, of this root in your everyday life. Biometrics, measuring life to get into your phone, or, or uh, biometrics, um, taking a, a blood alcohol level test. Also, biography, the record of a life. The next root, logi, it's hard to pronounce that out of context. L-O-G-Y, meaning study. Biology, study of life, as we just noted. Cardiology, study of the heart. Any number of ologies out there. Theology, study of God. Astrology, study of stars. And geology, study of Earth, just to name a few. The next root, sight, meaning cell. An example is cytology, meaning the study of cells. The next root, centesis, meaning to puncture in order to draw out fluid. The example, amniocentesis, which is puncturing the amniotic sac, going right through the, through the mother's belly, in order to draw out amniotic fluid to diagnose fetal health. The next root, plasty, means surgical repair. An example is rhinoplasty. Rhino meaning nose. It's essentially a nose job. If I'm going too fast, press the pause button. The next root is a or an, meaning no or not. Examples are anemia and anoxia. You'll be finding out that this emia is always a reference to blood anemia, a lack of blood, anoxia, a lack of oxygen. That's another root for which you can think of numerous examples in everyday language, such as amoral, not moral, anonymous, having no name. The next root, auto, meaning self. An example is auto-infection. This is an infection in which a pathogen moves within the body from one location to another. And examples of this root from everyday life, automobile, self-motion, the next roots, epi, hyper, and supra, meaning above or excessive, and that can be physically above, as in epigastric, meaning the upper and median portion of the abdomen lying on top of the stomach, or hyperactive, simply meaning excessively active, or suprapubic, meaning above the pubis. A suprapubic catheter is one that is that is actually inserted through a hole in the abdomen directly over the pubis instead of being inserted through the urethra. The next roots are the opposite, hypo and sub, meaning below or deficient. Examples are hypoglycemic, not having enough sugar in the blood, or subnormal, below normal, like a subnormal temperature. And of course, examples from everyday language, subterranean, under the earth, suboptimal, less than optimal, subordinate, lower in order. The next roots, ac, al, ik, us, os, meaning pertaining to. Examples are cardiac, pertaining to the heart, neural, pertaining to nerves, gastric, pertaining to the stomach, mucus, pertaining to mucus, and adipose, pertaining to fat. And of course, you'll see those roots all over in everyday language. I've got a few examples written down here. Insomniac, elegiac, usual, actual, factual, magnetic, athletic, barbaric, famous, joyous, <coughs> excuse me, ruinous, grandiose, bellicose, bellicose meaning pertaining to war. 
The next roots, alg or alge and dinia, meaning pain. Examples, analgesic, meaning against pain, a pain reliever, and gastrodynia, pain in the stomach. You've probably figured out by now that that root gastra means stomach. The next roots, ia and osis, meaning condition. Examples, leukocytosis, a condition of the white blood cells, and anemia, a condition of low blood supply. The next root, cod, meaning tail. An example, caudal anesthesia. This is also called an epidural. It's a nerve block of the very base of the spine. The next root, dist, meaning distant. An example, distal myopathy. This is um, a disease of the, of the muscles that are distant, that are away from the, from the center of the body, mainly hands and feet. Distal myopathy is a sort of, a, a, maybe a weakness of, of the hands and feet. The next root, dorse, meaning back. An example, dorsalgia, meaning back pain. And this is the same dorse as in the word dorsal, fin, which is, of course, you know, the fin coming out of a shark's or a fish's back. The next root, mes, meaning middle, as in mesoderm. The mesoderm being the, the middle layer of the germs, the germ layers in the embryo, the others being the endoderm and the ectoderm. An example of mess in real life is uh, Mesoamerica. It's Middle America in between North America and South America. The next root, sep, meaning infection. An example, sepsis. And we also just had the example of antiseptic against infection. The next root is cron, meaning time. An example, chronic infection, meaning an infection that persists over time. And of course, this is the same cron as in words like synchronize, same time. When you synchronize your schedule or your watch with someone else, you are getting on the same time. The next root, hydra, meaning water. To dehydrate is to bring the water level down. The next root, isk, meaning hold back, as in ischemia, which is a Deprivation of blood in a local area, usually uh, due to contraction of the vessels or some obstacle in the blood system. The next roots, dis and mal, meaning bad. Dysplasia is bad formation. Malignant, of course, is bad, usually cancerous, a malignant tumor. And you can think of numerous examples of everyday words with these roots, such as dysfunctional family, malicious, malodorous, having a bad odor, or maltreat, to treat badly. And the next roots are the opposite, you and ben, both meaning good. Euphoria is a good feeling, sometimes excessively happy. And a benign tumor is one that, well, it's not necessarily good, but at least it's harmless. And there are plenty of words in everyday life with these roots. I've got benevolent, benefit, eugenics, euthanasia, good death, and eulogy, good study or good words. That, of course, is the speech that you make at someone's funeral. The next root, crit, meaning to separate. An example, hematocrit, which is a test to measure the proportion of red blood cells in the, in, the, in the blood, it literally means to separate blood. And an example um, in everyday language is the word critic, which uh, it, to separate the, the good from the bad. The next root, lice or lis, meaning to break down or destroy. Examples are hemolysis, which is the destruction of red blood cells, or lice, meaning to, to destroy. The next root, mega, meaning large, an example, splenomegaly, an enlarged spleen. And of course, there are numerous examples in everyday language, megaphone, big sound, mega hit, mega star, mega store. The next root is plas, meaning formation or growth. Hypoplasia is the underdevelopment or incomplete development of a tissue or organ. The next root, lat, meaning side. An example is 
bilateral. Of course, the human body, for the most part, has bilateral symmetry, the same two things on each side. The next root, D, down, or lack, as in dehydrate, the water level going down. And you can think of countless uses of this root in everyday life. Uh, destruction, depersonalize, demystify, detoxify to, to bring the poison levels down. And the next root, hemi or semi, meaning half, as in hemisphere, two hemispheres in the brain, or semi-conscious. The next root, poly, meaning many. Polyneuritis is the inflammation of several peripheral nerves at the same time. And you've seen this root in words like polygon, polychrome, many colored, polysyllabic, many syllables, and polygamy, many mates, many wives or husbands. The next root, poesis, meaning formation or production. An example, hemopoiesis, the formation and production of blood. The next roots, ex and ek, meaning out or out of. An example, exocrine. These are external secretions. Compare those with endocrine, which are internal secretions. Also, gastrectomy, which is cutting out the stomach. The next roots are the opposite, in and en, meaning into or internal. Examples are incision, cutting in, and, as I said earlier, endocrine, internal secretions. The next root, gen, meaning origin, producing, or produced by. An example, carcinogenic, meaning producing cancer, a carcinogenic substance or a carcinogenic chemical. And the next root, hem, meaning, of course, blood. Hematology, the study of blood. The next root, itis, meaning inflammation. Gastritis, inflammation of the stomach. The next root, e, means an act or a process, as in osteotomy, which is cutting the bone, surgically cutting the bone. And the next root, scope or scop, meaning to visually examine. Gastroscopy is the act or process of visually examining the stomach through a tube, right? Or through a gastroscope, an instrument for that purpose. The same root, of course, as in telescope and microscope. The next roots are gram and graph, meaning to record or record. Examples are mammogram, a record of breast health, and electrocardiography, which is the measurement of electrical activity in the heart and the recording of that activity. And you've seen those roots in words like hologram, diagram, autograph. And note the pronunciation shift with that Y. Mammogram, mammography. Gastroscope, gastroscopy. The next roots. Anti and contra, meaning not or against. Examples, antiseptic, against infection. And contraception, meaning against conception or birth control. This is the same contra as in contradict, speak against. The next roots, ol, ul, and Cull, all meaning small. Examples, arteriole, a small diameter blood vessel. Venial, a small vein. And ventricle, which literally means small belly. Of course, it's actually a chamber of the heart. And this is the same C-L-E, cull, in the word particle, small part. The next root, ab, meaning away. It seems as though a lot of roots mean away or not or against. Here's another one. An example is abnormal, not normal, away from normal. Another example that applies to both medical technology and real life, the word abduct, meaning to lead away, 
Abduction, of course, is the movement of limbs away from the body, away from the center of the body. And by the way, we'll probably be learning about the opposite root, ad, meaning towards, adduction, meaning movement towards the center of the body. The next root, oid, meaning resembling. An example, fibroid, meaning resembling fiber. Examples from everyday life, ovoid, shaped like an egg, spheroid, asteroid, resembling a star. The next root, phobe, meaning hate, fear, or aversion. An example is photophobia, which is extreme sensitivity to light, something like iritis. And there are lots of popular words with phobia. Maybe one of the better known ones is arachnophobia, uh, fear of spiders. The next root is the opposite, phil, meaning attraction. An example is eosinophil, leukocytes that histologically stain with a substance called eosin. And this is the same phil as in philosophy, love of wisdom, and philanthropy, love of humankind. The next root, seal, meaning hernia. A rectoseal is herniation of the rectum. The next root, Malaysia means softening. An example, osteomalacia, softening of the bones. And by now, you probably know that osteo is the root word for bone. The next roots, onc and oma, meaning tumor. Oncology, I think of it as the study of cancer. It's probably the study of tumors and neuroma, which is a tumor composed mainly of nerve cells. The next root, path, meaning disease. An example, of course, being pathology, the study of disease. And we had this root earlier in the, uh, in the term distal myopathy, disease of, of, the, uh, of, the, of the muscles that are distant from the center of the body. The next root, petty, meaning child. An example, pediatrics, which is the treatment of children. And note that other root, I-A-T-R, iatra, iatra, it's the same root as in psychiatry, treatment of the mind, podiatry, treatment of the foot. And you can probably guess what an iatrogenic disease is, iatrogenic. It's a disease that is actually caused by a physician or by treatment usually through, um, through a misdiagnosis or an unexpected adverse drug event. The next roots, sec, cis, and tom, all meaning cut, a C-section. I'm not sure why it's called cesarean. That's some sort of history, but a C-section, of course, is a cut in the abdomen to deliver a baby. An incision is cutting in and a hysterectomy is cutting out the uterus. The next root, re, meaning back or again, when a disease recurs, it, it comes back. And the next root, lapse, meaning to fall. A relapse is to fall back into a state of disease. Peri means around. An example, perianal, the area around the anus and the roots pro, pre, and anti. And that's A-N-T-E, not A-N-T-I. Anti, meaning before. Examples are prognosis, prognosis, knowing before, literally, and precancerous, a condition before cancer or leading to cancer. And anterior, the anterior cruciate ligament, is that the one that's out in front of the knee? Post, of course, is the opposite, meaning behind. Posterior, I think there's a posterior cruciate ligament. There is also postpartum depression. This can mean afterwards in time. Postpartum depression being depression after a woman gives birth. The next root, trans, meaning across, as in the transversal intestine. The next root, um, meaning tissue or structure, as in 
endocardium, which is the, um, the structure or the tissue lining the interior of the heart. And that's the same um as in the word stadium. The next root, serve, meaning neck. An example, your cervical vertebrae are the vertebrae in your neck. And the cervix is the neck-like organ coming down from the uterus. The next root, necra and mort, meaning death. Necrosis is the death of tissue. Mortified is the state of dead tissue. And of course, we have real life words like mortician, the person who handles dead bodies. And another word for, or excuse me, another meaning for mortified is to feel so ashamed that you want to die. The next root, vent, meaning belly. An example, ventral hernia, a hernia in the belly. We also saw this word vent in the word ventricle, which literally means small belly, but it actually means a chamber of the heart. The next root, neo, meaning new. Neoplasm is an example. We've seen the root plas, meaning formation. A neoplasm is an abnormal growth of new cells. And you'll see that root in terms like neoclassical, neoconservative. The next root, troph or trough, meaning nourish or develop. Atrophy is underdevelopment, muscular atrophy. Muscular dystrophy is bad development of a muscle. And viscer, meaning internal organs. We have the word eviscerate, which more commonly in everyday speech means to remove the organs, but it also means for, um, it also means uh, to, to protrude through a surgical incision. So there's a set of basic roots that will be useful throughout this course. You might want to keep your notes with you as you continue with future lessons. And look out for some of those roots in everyday life, in your everyday reading, speaking, and writing. See you in the next lesson.